Hello there, this is Big Benedict. We're playing The Evil Within on Akumu difficulty mode, and this is my guide for the aforementioned title. We're on part 13 of 15, I should say chapter 13, and a long, a pretty long level. It's a difficult one. I have great strategies for dealing with the, the first main section with the stealth if you want to take it to the stealth level which I would highly recommend because it's not hard to stealth it although it was hard for me to figure out how to do it. It took me you know to generalize it took me a couple of hours to figure it out and the thing is I refrain from looking at other people's content until I've done what I want to do because you can't help but emulate people when you watch them sometimes so the reason I watch people afterwards is because I like to hear their reflections and I like to see what, how they approach the situation. But it's it's up to us at this point. So now they've introduced these traps here, which take the longest of all the traps to defuse, and they allow you to go through what would otherwise be a, um, death by acid. So and they only yield one trap part. I personally think they should at least yield two. Three seems a little excessive, but... So, for the first section, um, well, the first difficult section, I elect to use frost bolts on the Ruvik clones. It is pretty costly of, an, of, of a choice, because one one frost bolt takes five trap parts to craft in the first place so if you're using two you're you're down by ten so I'm in a position where I have like s almost seventy trap parts so I have a selection and I can do what I want with them so um, there's other ways to kill Rubik you know you can use grenades you can down them with the shotgun stun them that way and set them on fire I just like to use the the freeze bolts because they're very effective and and I can depend on them for what I need to do. So jumping down here now, I think there might be something to get. Okay, there's the keeper. He picks up corpses so that he can get new heads is, is what I believe that he does. Def a formidable enemy to be sure. And unfortunately, these don't have the bombs that we can defuse and get trap parts as well. So your checkpoint is going to occur after you defuse this bear trap here. Now these are the first time we're seeing bombs attached to the bear traps. So they take a little bit longer to defuse, but you only get one for them anyway. Okay, so what I first do is I sprint to this location in the cabinet to the left of this one there's nothing in there so I don't bother to open it so equip your freeze bolt this this is a really sensitive enemy right here because he could see you through the little crevice between the wall and that cart I think we're in a motel some kind of a hotel or something I'm not sure but when he turns around just um, watch out for this d diffuse this disarm it and I'm gonna turn left uh, take turn turn the camera left, and you can see Ruvik finishing up um, what he was doing over there, which was setting up an acid trap for us. So kill this guy, and if you're following what I'm doing, Ruvik will always come in this room. So as you're holding left trigger, hold the right trigger so that the the arch isn't so such a you know like more of a, a, a straight line in this respect, and. I'm a little bit ambivalent as to what, as to you know should the enemies just die of their own accord once they're frozen. It is very helpful, but it seems a little a little easy. But again, it's very helpful. So right here, I am looking for the enemy that's going to be walking from left to right, and you'll see his foot in the crack in the wall. See his foot right there, and then you'll see him walking towards the balcony. Now there's another enemy too, so you have to do this kill very specifically, which means the second this guy turns around, approach him, watch out for the bear trap, and take this guy down. Now look to the left, 
he should have seen me, but he doesn't regard you. It's I don't know what it is, but it will it will it will work. It always works for me, and then very quickly jump over the rail. And fortunately, in this game, you don't make noise by jumping over the rails. Uh, I mean, if I had, he would have turned around and, and tried to kill me. Okay, so there's one trap part over here, and across the way, for the first time, there is um, an enemy with bombs strapped to his back. I'll just call him the, um, I don't know what they're called, just bomb. Anyway, it's not important. What's important here? are the grenades, or, or excuse me, there's just one grenade here and at this point what happens is there is an enemy that comes from where we were in the beginning and he'll enter the room beyond this cracked wall and his path will go from the, the, the crack in the wall and then he will go over to the bureau by the door but if he sees you, and the reason I'm turning around so much here is because the sounds were being deceptive, but I should have known that he never deviates from his path unless he sees you. So, ideally, in a perfect run, what you would do is stand where I was standing, turn the camera until you see him moving over to this area, and I'll just assume that I that I I didn't kill him right there. This is what you would do because it's just hard to get a perfect run. So, from this point, if you hadn't killed him and you're trying to kill him still, what you want to do is head this way, disarm the acid trap, watching out, of course, for Reuven. So, Ruvik will come out of this door up here, but he won't come over here unless we aggro him into this area. I just I think those guys are called bombers. Um, I don't know what they're called. But maybe that's one of their names. So, if you go back down the hall from where we are, after defusing this, you can um, circumvent the hallway and take out that guy with the stealth kill. The guy that I accidentally have saw me, but you know. So hit Reuven, Ruvik again with this and he's dead. This is the this is the way you can go to kill that first guy. I wish I could have done it, but it's a, it's a tough room to be honest. And I believe there's actually one more um uh besides the what, what I don't know what you would call those things. It's bothering me because I I I had a name for them, but now I don't know what it is. But uh, this room is clear, and I'm not going to risk defusing the bomb, uh, you know. Um, but here is this guy now. What you want to do is hit the t hit the bombs on his back, and he will blow up. If not, then he'll charge you. And in this instance, um, the ruckus that we caused caused this guy to come out. And watch out for the bear trap. I should have defused that, but in a pinch, I always go for this very helpful so this area it it doesn't like I said in the first video it, it doesn't fuck with you too much it's a pretty uh, I would hesitate to call it like a straight shooting series of events I'm just not gonna risk it that bomb right there so we have to watch out for the downfill right there because even though he's dead if we set off those traps, they'll explode. So, at this point, um, I didn't know where the enemy was because the sounds in this game are very deceptive. Like when you finally find the source of the sounds, you swear it, it couldn't have emanated from that location, but had to have been somewhere else nearby, like right behind you, it seems like. So, since I'm doing this after the fact, I know where the guy is. He's patrolling the hallway, and you might see a goddess statue in the next room. I have not tested to see whether 
it disappears between checkpoints after if you hit it because you can't grab it from here um, if you shoot the goddess statue the key will fall to the lower floor will be in the lower floor after the next checkpoint so I wouldn't risk trying to shoot that key because things disappear in this game very frequently you've 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 heard me relay stories of of, of taking a not uh, taking an, an axe through the portal where the insane asylum is and then when I come back the axe is gone it's not on the floor anywhere it's just completely gone so let's see this guy may be the last guy probably is the last guy so what I was thinking actually in the back of my mind is I'll get the checkpoint and then I'll return to the room and then defuse the bomb but they don't let you mantle back up here so just be very careful here's another trap I personally think the trap parts you get from from things should be proportionate to how long it takes to do the trap and because you're vulnerable the entire time you're doing it like the acid traps they take the longest to defuse and they still just give you one okay so we're coming up on the next section that 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 really is a difficult section and I I would have liked to have made that flawless but the guy did see me but I'm telling you you can stealth them the guy that you know before I killed Ruvik the guy that saw me okay we're gonna get a checkpoint and I did try to mantle back up there they don't let you so we're gonna come down here we have a checkpoint you want to defuse this staying inside this building area because if you go out too far then this guy will see you and always keep your torch off because they will they will see that they don't give you the courtesy that they do in the last of us with the human enemies not um, I mean just ignoring the flashlights so we're gonna head back here get some shotgun shells and there's a bit of tension up here because the keeper is in the next room but the way this works watch out for this the way it works is that all you need to do is just put him on the screen and then he'll do his scripted event and providing you don't make any noise he won't try to kill you so it is in this room that the goddess statue is in the upper rafters so how that would work then from the above room if you shot the key it would it would then fall down into this room but I can't guarantee that if you do that early you know say you come down here and then say you die but say you don't even die I don't know if they would save the key and have the key down here for you part of me suspects that they just wouldn't have it but once he once he goes down that gassy corridor you are free to make noise so this is the statue that was in the above uh, the upper room that we were in a moment ago so pick it up and then get the gel and the matches over here and anything else um, some bear traps the the bomb bear traps so they're gonna take a little bit longer to defuse and uh, you all you should not have any fear of it the kitchen area I did condemn it I think in chapter 11 but it's a very easy it's a very easy scenario I just did it it's I got die I, I got died a couple of times but I quickly realized what I needed to do so all you need is shock bolts for that part and it'll take you through it and I don't think the sliding enemies are infinitely spawning I think there's just five of them but you can you can electrify them and short them out with the shock bolts so it works really very well so there's, I believe, 1,100 points of gel right there. Now we're going to get another checkpoint and continue on our way over here. I've shot the crow before. He yields nothing, so you, you might want to consider that. And then I believe 
for the second time in this game we're getting some magnum shells so what I do is after I get the magnum shells I switch the gun on reload so that I have a full clip and I then switch back to my handgun because these bullets here should only be reserved for the toughest fights like the next toughest fight I would say that's coming up uh, there is a tough fight in this chapter with the keeper but they're mainly for the the large scale fights the, the really challenging ones like in the final chapter but again you're free to use them whenever you want to I'm just saying they very rarely give them to you so I've cut out the cutscene here and you know just do your shopping I did upgrade the damage level of the shotgun to level 5 and now we have some more of these bombers down here and another key coming up too so the best way I know how to do this is to immediately come out of this room disarm the bear trap and I think I'm going to headshot yeah, I'm going to headshot this guy down here um, so this box never gave me anything but there's a statue up here you want to make sure you get this and I just I can't remember what I do here I use a shotgun okay I'm gonna use a shotgun if you approach him closer then you'll get this um, enemies will rush out of both of these doors so just try to shoot their bodies and just have them expire have them blow up but when you approach these things here these are a new trap as well what they do is even if you're sneaking up on them they still start to beep and cause you to panic but as long as you, you hold the A button you'll disarm them so uh, approaching them slow with us from a with a slow gait is not recommended you just wanna you know go up to them stop hold the A button and, and then disarm them so these are the rooms from from which the end now I'm opening these drawers knowing that, that knowing that they have nothing I'm just making sure that you guys saw that I that I saw that and we're just going to loot these these storage areas back here so just make sure you cover every nook and cranny with the, the camera and don't pass by anything I, I disarm those two bombs um, that are in the entryway of both because I don't like accidentally running into it when I come out of the other room. So I think that's about it. We've taken everything we can. That, that bomb would be right over here, so I just don't want to run into it. And these boxes are just not yielding anything. So we'll go in the shaft here and we are approaching the kitchen part they give you a shock bolt right at the beginning of the kitchen which is a clear indication that you should be using it so I think I use about four shock bolts and I understand in past videos that I've I've called you know when I'm trying to describe the flash bolt I say shock bolt you just have to bear with me and realize that once this is committed to video, I can't retract it. I can't say anything unless I put an annotation in the video. So if I make a verbal mistake, just, just realize, you know, that I'm trying to say flashbolt, you know, if it doesn't make sense. It's obviously, I'm not talking about a shock bolt if I mean to talk about a flashbolt and vice versa. Okay, so this box is going to give us nothing like usual. I don't know why they're giving us nothing. But we're going to see Joseph up here pretty soon. And there's a key in here too, which I would recommend getting. Even though it does involve risk, and you might be dying on this section a few times. But if you follow my strategy, you shouldn't die. That's how confident I am with this strategy. So the first thing I'm going to do is use two shock bolts down the paths where the, the sliders come. And I'm just calling them sliders because I don't know what they're called. They're not in the bestiary. 
Okay, well, I guess this is the first thing I'm doing. I'm disarming these because I am going to be using a few bolts, and I want to make sure that I I get remunerated in some fashion later on. So I have 75. That's good. There's a shock bolt right here. Don't pass the threshold to stay like back here so that you can shoot these. I'm going to shoot one right there. And this will short these out, short the sliders out. I, I, I just I don't think they spawn infinitely. I just think there's like five of them. So the first thing you do is come over here, melee the statue, pick up the key, and then watch out for the fire. That's what I'll say. And then approach this and take it out, disarm it, and then move back. And then I'm going to fire a bolt beyond where that rubble is so that that thing will get shortened out. And then this duck, right? you have to duck right here. And then over here you have to wait a second. So just approach it and then stop and then go forward. And then here, disarm the trap. And then run for it. Run for it, but make sure you'll hear you'll hear this. So put a shock bolt over here. Because I have been killed trying to disarm this. So you know. You can be doing this and they'll slide up right to you. So it's good to have your back covered right there. And then that's the it. That's it. Excuse me. It only took me, once I figured that out, like five minutes. Okay, so this, this room here contains some items we're going to need. Well, fuck that. We don't need that, do we? Uh, some people were asking me why did I upgrade my HP. I, I didn't. There would be no point to do that on Akuma difficulty. You're probably confused because I used a syringe and I filled my health up all the way. Maybe that's the confusion, but that's the base level of life. There's no point. One hit and you're dead. It doesn't, ma it doesn't matter on this difficulty, and that's why it's so difficult. You know, people might think it's tough because, or not tough because I'm upgrading stuff. It's not the case. Not the case whatsoever. Even with upgrades, you, you take one hit of damage and you're dead. They don't give you any mercy. So, now we have to fight this guy. Okay, this fight is pretty bullshit. I, I will say, before you even enter this arena and get your checkpoint, make sure you have your loadout the way you need it. Start off with explosive bolts. Um, main, the main problem I had here was uh, shooting him with a bolt and not being able to flee from him in time, and then um, just dying because of the explosion radius. So he doesn't have much HP. His HP is divided up into three stages. Here's the the second stage. Um, switch to your flash bolts immediately, and get these sliders taken care of here. Get them self-destructed. And it's not about you. Don't, you just don't want to be where the um, you don't want to get caught in the meat because you, then you slow down considerably. So you just want to. There is a wasted. Frostbolt did not want to use it. You just you just panic when you're in a room like this. The bear traps don't kill you as long as you do the quick time event, but you're likely to get killed by him. He's pretty damn fast. So I would just say sprint around the outskirts when you have time. Um, craft more explosive bolts. Use a shotgun. Shotgun's very helpful here. And you see, like this does not constitute damage and. Sometimes he lets you get away with it. Sometimes he'll just pick you up and just tear you up. <laughs> so here's uh, him going down, and I think we need to. Are there any sliders coming? Yeah, no sliders coming. He keeps coming forever, though. That's the thing. So don't get greedy about grabbing items. I did a little bit, but then I, I ran out of here. Once he's knocked down a third time, then you're free and clear. I think just two explosive bolts and one shotgun blast will take care of each face. It's pretty it's pretty manageable. It's just annoying when you have traps around here. So now you'll see that the the chute opens and I'm grabbing things here, trying to be greedy, and then I saw him rising up, so we need to get in here, and then I've edited out the long sequence of blackness in here, and that's the end of the chapter. But in this room here, back in the kitchen area, you don't want to miss the goddess statue in the chute. There's also some gel beneath the table in the center of the room. But right now, I'm going to. I'm just going to melee this thing. Bullets are, you know, 
some of the some of the statues they do require bullets, but when the ones that don't, I would say just melee them. So that's the last pair of items in this room, and then we'll exit it. And I thought this was a longer chapter, so when I started talking in the beginning of this video and said, saying it was long, I I misremembered it. So I've done two whole videos today, and I didn't think I would because these are. I didn't know how lengthy they would be, but they turned out to be not too bad. So, only two chapters left. I really like these latter chapters, to be quite honest, and chapter 14 is upon us pretty soon. It, it's called Ulterior Motives, and we'll be on that chapter right as we go through this door here and meet up with Kidman. So, thanks for watching the video, you guys. I appreciate it.